So yeah, we've, we've made a few uh, choices. Everything else is going to be improvised. We had some costumes and we made a little bit of a set. <laughs> uh, but everything else will be made up. And uh, now, yes, dependent on you. Uh, yeah, so f um, we'll improvise a play, but uh, first we'd like you to tell us what you know about Anton Chekhov. Uh, uh, you can all speak at once. What does somebody know about Some word Chekhov? Um, what do you think of? Three sisters. Uh, yeah, the three title sisters. of one of his plays is Three Sisters. Waiting. 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 Uh, yeah, waiting. That's a good, yeah, waiting. Yeah. Moscow. Moscow. Moscow, yes. okay. Unspoken waiting. problems. Unspoken problems, <laughs> yes. Long names. Long, Long names. names, yeah. First Eagle. I think Eagle. Uh, this is the very first play we've ever done for um, a mother breastfeeding a, a baby. Yeah, that's... So yeah, thank you. So, first time. Melanie. Melanie? Yeah. Okay, Mel very good. Melanie may appear in the play. <laughs> well, not really. We're no, not no, gonna... We won't do that. We're not insured. <laughs> Uh, so please. longing, yeah, uh, waiting, yes. Yeah. Um, anything else? Uh, Three sisters, seagull. Those are all good. Uh, the cherry orchard is another play that he wrote. Um, Russian. Uh, things are usually cold in his plays, and depressive. anything. Aggressive. Oh, depressive. Yes. Depressive. depressive. Yes. Depressive. Funny. Funny. Yeah. Funny. Sometimes. Yeah, he called it. He called a lot of his plays comedies, but. Uh, <laughs> I know. He did. But he did the though. seagull, a comedy. What's this? Yeah. Aristocratic. 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 Yes. Word. Okay, yeah. Longing for a better future, but not knowing how to get there. Okay, that's good. Uh, now, briefly, uh, tell me what's happening in your lives uh, in Berlin. Some issues, uh, problems. Uh, Something so in the news. Traffic. Okay, tra traffic is very hard, uh, difficult here. Tourism. <laughs> 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 well, should a good Z. Commuter trains. Commuter, tra commuter trains. Commuter trains are always slow, or they're breaking always breaking down. Breaking down. Okay. <laughs> Someone can help him. No, no. <laughs> help us. The, tra the trains are not running, but instead they use buses to just as a uh, uh, substitute. substitute. Right. Um, yeah, Airport a strike. There is Airport, a Airport strike. strike. Yes. Um, uh, right. This is all about transportation? <laughs> so, does anybody care about anything else? No, no, no. Berlin no is money. all about no money. No money. No money. Yeah. Yeah. Every, everyone's broke? Yes, well, the one, city is here. Thing, um, the people feel that, uh, that they have to move their flags because the, the people with more money come to, to some places in Berlin, but it is not in real. Yeah. Yeah. Transportation, Transportation is, uh, is telling otherwise. Yeah. Yes. Okay. But the feeling of the people is uh, like this. They can't, the rent is coming up because uh, rich people are moving in and, yeah. and the poor people can't afford. Gentrification. Yeah, gentrification. Gentrifi yeah, yeah, yeah. Gentrification, yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, Great gentrification. Restaurants. Tourists, restaurants. Okay. Great restaurants. Um, Great yes. you, you, you like the restaurants. That's yeah. positive. Yeah, very good. Uh, <laughs> uh, we also had, uh, the, you have an issue, a very big issue with something serious uh, dog poop. Yeah. yeah, does nobody pick up the dog poop? No? Yeah, people do, they just pick it up with their shoes. Oh, I see, yeah. Uh, okay, so, um, so uh, there's a problem with uh, too many tourists. The, the transportation is, um, is impossible sometimes. Uh, the weather is, uh, yeah, crazy today. today. Did we not experience every kind of weather today? Is that and, normal? Uh, yeah. It's crazy. It's apocalypse. Yeah, and uh, and gentrification. So um, so uh, uh, yeah. Gentrification. Yeah. Um. Yes. Anything else? Do you have something about personal? Yeah. You want to get a personal? Yeah. Is there something in your life that is making your heart sing or breaking your heart? One or the other. Personal. Yeah. Something personal in your life. Love. Love. Yeah. Your music. love. Music. What's yeah. something, something specific? Something to you. <laughs> your back pain. <laughs> so, uh, it's breaking your heart. It's breaking your heart, your pain, your back. It's all related. Yeah. Nature. Nature is breaking your heart or making it's you positive. Positive. Yes. Positive. Yeah, you 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 like to see the the trees budding and yeah. it is beautiful. Yeah. Starting I like to, to become. Be the nature. Yeah. 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 Okay. Everybody, finish talking. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. The National Theatre of the World and Impromptu Splendor present the play not written by Anton Chekhov, 
The back breaking tourist. <laughs> the back breaking tourist. The back breaking tourist. The back breaking tourist. was the train. <laughs> it broke down again and, well, you know how they are. A horse and buggy picked us up from the train station. It took three times longer than usual to get here, right? But then again, you... Can I pour you a drink? I noticed three glasses, but... Uh... Well, then I hope you don't mind if I... Uh... I love it when the train breaks down. I love it because then I get to experience nature. You can't feel nature from a train compartment. You can't smell the leaves budding, the snow on the ground. It has a smell, you know. It's Russian snow. It's been through a lot of problems. The clouds of Russia produce the saddest snow. Do you ever notice? <laughs> Excuse me, I'm rambling on, but, but sometimes I need to talk about it. I have to express it, don't you understand? You're my brother, you know, you've heard my ramblings forever. We're blood, of course, but when you experience Russia from the ground, from, from behind a horse, when you smell the horse's rear end, <laughs> then you're part of some, I'm sorry, sometimes my brain doesn't speak to my mouth. And my mouth, I just wish they'd get together more often and discuss it. But they've been strangers for far too long. And so have we, brother. Sorry, I keep rambling. Do you want a cookie? Sorry, no, look, this isn't about, one second. Look, I know I haven't been here in a long time, but I... I have to talk about the train a little bit more. It was so lovely to see that things are still breaking down here in this tiny, terrible town of yours. But all the memories we had. Remember when we breastfed from mother? You on one side and you always on the left for some reason. I guess because you're left-handed. Me always on the right. I had lots of milk in that boob. But you've always had the less amount of milk. Maybe that's why you're shorter and uglier than that. Where's my manners? I'm sorry. We should embrace. Let's hug. We haven't seen each other for... Well, how long has it been? Ah, forget it. We don't need to hug real brothers, no, in our brains and in our hearts. That there's love there. And even if there isn't any love, It'll come back later, like a, a train. Even though it breaks down, there will always be another train after it. But not today. There was no train after it today. Just a horse. No. Where are my manners? Tell me. Tell me one thing about your life that I should be excited about, brother. You haven't written me. You haven't spoken to me for, what, months? 
Petrograd. I've been to Moscow, and I've, I've seen so many wonderful things. Excuse me, I'm gonna have another drink. Wow. That's some strong, strong vodka. I lost my glasses. Sorry? <laughs> my spectacles, they've gone missing. I can't make you out. <laughs> you cannot see me, brother. Your eyes have gotten that much worse, eh? Look how old we're getting! <laughs> you a little more than me, but weren't we brought up together? And yet I look young and, and handsome, and you are blind. <laughs> uh, you don't even know how to dress yourself, do you, brother? Please, have a seat. Sure. I find it interesting that you have not commented on the absence of Nina Sergeyevich Golitsyn, Globus Globus Lublu. Can you say that again? Nina Sergeyevich Golitsyn, Globus Lublu. Nina Sergeyevich Golitsyn, Globus Lublu. You're right, I... I've left her out of our little conversation. Yes. It's why my countenance matches that of the Russian weather, her absence. As much as I despised her while she was here, somehow, while she's gone, I... Well, I've become blind. <laughs> Would you like an apple? <laughs> um, thank you, yes. Soon I will run out of apples and vodka. I no longer have a job. You've lost your job? Yes. I was fired. I'm a poet, and I was fired! How do you get fired as a poet? <laughs> Were you even employed as a poet? I thought I was. <laughs> That's what I miss. I was thinking on the train what I was missing most about you, and it was your poetry, your words. Please, tell me one. I cannot muster the joy that it takes to create a poem and recite a poem in front of you in these dour times, my darling, darling brother. I think you can. One. Why did I do that? One poem. <laughs> the winter engulfs summer's final flower and the sun sinks down on the saddest hour and all that was sweet has now turned sour my love my love my love is dour flower rhymes with dour okay. and dour <laughs> cheer me, and yet your presence makes me nothing more than a gray cloud in the sky, wishing to snow upon the very earth and freeze it. Freeze everything. I wish everything would freeze. <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> you were always the depressing one, weren't you? I would always be laughing on mother's tit and you would be crying. <laughs> she had opposite children. I can't help it. Everything that is happening in the world is hard and oppressive. I am not the depressing one, my brother. I am the depressed one. You are the one who depresses me. <laughs> I didn't know that I was the source of your pain. But to me, everything in life seems beautiful and lovely. Even Nina, the thought of her. To see her again. I mean, today, on the train, as I was saying before, as we were stopped there waiting for the engineer to make the decision, are we going to go on or will he call the horses? I thought to myself, today, the weather, we are experiencing every season. It snowed once on the platform, and then two seconds later, it was sunny. And then, all of a sudden, windy. So we went from spring to summer, fall, and winter. I have a window. <laughs> but you weren't outside, brother. No, I haven't left this room in days. Anyhow, let's not talk about depressing things like the weather here. What is there to talk about? Me, your tourist brother who's come home. <laughs> come on, let's have fun. We'll have a party tonight. Yes, we have to. And invite Nina. I don't know where she is. 
As I told you, she left. She packed her bags. Well, well, that's okay. I will, I will call up some men I know, influential men, and we'll track her down. And then, once we find her, we'll have a party. I'm not sure I want her back. I, I know I may seem like a small shell of a person right now with her gone. You were always a small shell of a person. <laughs> you realize when you are insulting me, don't you? I guess I don't. Mm -hmm. Perhaps I'll point it out every time. Wow, you are a real bummer. Once in life, can't you just accept that things can be fun? Look, look at me. I've been all over the world. I've been the planet's tourist. And I know that there is more out there than this little hovel that you live in out in the middle of nowhere. Don't you see what your tourism does to our relationship? To all of our relationships? Your distance, it sharpens, it sharpens my sadness like a knife. I have not seen you in months and you return with nothing but this facade of happiness. I know what lies inside of you. No, it's all happy. I know exactly what lies inside of you. Well, I'm happy. Brother, there's so much. It's a charade. Look, let's not talk of miserable possibilities. Let's talk about what the world can become. Your optimism is as blind as I am right now. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> You've always been a blur to me. It's fitting that you're as blurry as you are now. So I don't have to look at how beautifully handsome you are. I've gotten more handsome. It's true. I know some very influential people, very rich people, and they could do a lot of things with this place. What are you getting right now for rent? Receiving or paying? I guess you're paying rent, are you? You don't own here, no. Of course not. Hmm, possibilities. <coughs> what are you suggesting? <coughs> it's Nina. I'd know that tubercular cough anywhere. <laughs> I do not want to see her. You stay. Please. I'm going. I can't no, be I here. Cannot be I am here. not going to be here. Someone must be you here. to stay. No, brother, I will leave to the back way. You love to see her more than I do. I cannot see. She cannot see me this, like this. Like this. I can't. You will bring her together. I must fortify myself. I look fine. <laughs> oh, Mikel! Oh, Mikel Vernukushkaskas! <laughs> oh! I'm just going by Mikel now. I, I just. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy the dog excrement. It's nature, is it not? It is nature. And when it's attached to someone as beautiful as you, you bring sweet perfume to anything that could come out of a dog. <laughs> oh, let me look at you. Oh, brother-in-law of mine. <laughs> oh. Hello, Vladimir. I thought that you had left forever. You took all of your belongings. I left my book. <laughs> you came back for your book? Of course. Because we were going to send a search party out for you. Of course, she cannot be without her fairy tales. Ah, uh, yes. If I remember correctly, you had always been fascinated by fairy tales. <laughs> she lives in a fairy tale. <laughs> I wish I did. Because that would mean that I would have a happy ending ahead of me. And yet I look at you and I see nothing but sad endings. Okay. I'm here now. <laughs> Tourist. You will take care of me and pamper me and give me everything afforded to a guest. And we shall have fun tonight. A party. I will wait one more night to leave my husband. For you. 
Uh, we shall not leave my husband for you, but leave my husband, I will wait just for you. Ah. <laughs> some sort of psychological blip in your, what you say, brother. We have tonight to convince your wife to stay with you. You and I will do this together. It'll give me great joy to do it. Yes. And I won't see any of it. <laughs> and we drink together, sure. like a family, yes? Let's make a toast. Oh. You've lost just... your spectacles again. Yes, have you seen them anywhere? <laughs> oh, no. You're always too frustrated with me. To frustration! No, no! <laughs> Let's make it positive. To family? To good restaurants? To Let eating it... together? Let us drink. To excess. <laughs> I will get firewood. standing there by six trees which he had rooted up as if they had been stalks of corn and he said to him will you be my man and come along with me well, yes <laughs> i will <laughs> what no that's the response that is what it says yes i know it well <laughs> let's forget <laughs> will you be my man and come along with me yes i will <laughs> what i'm still doing the okay <laughs> What uh, possibilities your flat has? <laughs> I'm sorry. Have I said something? Vladimir did not tell you. Mm. No, I suppose not. When I think of this, it's like there is a baby crying in my head. <laughs> <laughs> it breaks my heart. But we are moving. Huh. Together. Maybe. It seems to me like you've already made the decision for yourself. We will move because the place is changing. Rich people are moving in and of course we are now poor. <laughs> Suddenly, I am not enough. My shoes are not enough. My clothing is not enough. Because there are rich people. Go <laughs> Rich people who tell me and show me. They come in and they say, oh, look at you. You have two shoes and one of them is covered in dog poop. <laughs> Not enough. You know, back, uh, back home, where Vlad and I are from. Yes, tell me. My mother always told us that when a woman hears a baby crying in her ear, it means it's time for her to have her own baby. It's like when you hear a shell, you hear the ocean. When you hear a, when you put a baby to your head, <laughs> you, you're, you can Bell, feel I understand, mood. yes. I, don't know. <laughs> it was I have not was, heard the expression uh, before, and it must be from your tiny village. Yeah, we had a very interesting Russian dialect, yes. and it was... <laughs> Anywho. And yet... <laughs> um, I've upset you. Is it that obvious? Well, look at your face. I, mean, I cannot. There is not a mirror. I cannot look at my own face. I wish you had a mirror. If you did, you'd see a woman who is making a big mistake. With what? My hair, my clothing, tell me. With her man. He loves you. He lives for you. All of his poetry was always about you. You should hear him recite it. Does he recite it for you? He recites his poetry with an air of doom and gloom. If that is me, I am his inspiration, then I must be doom and gloom as well. And that is not a happy marriage. He makes me feel like I am constantly stepping in dog feces. He makes me smell. I see him and I, I may not have gone out that day, 
But I still smell it. I smell it too. But that's because I really, I still have it. <laughs> Your relationship with him is like a, it's like a train. <sighs> Tell me. It keeps breaking down, breaking down. Yes. And then after a while, you can't help but get frustrated. Yes. What's going on here? What is going on here? Get your crap together. Get your, yes. But if you just let the experience of walking from one place to another fill you, then you can get through anything together. You are more of a poet than your brother. No. Yes. I fumble with words. No, my you... brain and my mouth can't get together. No. <laughs> your brain and your mouth are happily married and making love. Yes, but one's, one's gone on a vacation and won't call the other one in a very long time. But they're, you're writing letters to each other. Yeah, but the letters are confused. Anyway! <laughs> you speak and I understand. He speaks and I grimace. When we move, I have to tell you, brother-in-law, I will not be moving with my husband. I will move in the opposite direction. I will move to Moscow. What if he moves to Moscow? Then I will move the other way. <laughs> Plinsk? Plinsk. I will go Plinsk or Moscow. I don't care. I must go. I've, don't you understand? I've been to Plinsk. And is it beautiful? All oh, the restaurants. Yes, tell me. Can you eat anything? Yes, they will. The concoctions they make in Plinsk. Oh. They make a good Blintz in Plinsk. But nobody can order it. Nobody can say it out loud. Plinsk and Plinsk. No, you're right. I will go there. I will go far, far away from my husband. And there I will. I will follow my own dreams and not follow his dreams. But tonight, can you not give it another chance? Here he comes. Oh, <laughs> celebration has walked through the door. <laughs> hey, 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 a brother of mine. Uh, what do you got there? Plinsk vodka. <laughs> you went all the way to Plinsk for vodka? You're a fool. There's vodka right here. Plinsk makes the very best vodka. <laughs> yes, it's true. They got good reviews. And I have someone who brings it to me. Ah, yes. A guy that brings it. It's fun, right? <laughs> I long. I long for fun in my heart. Some days I wake up. And all I can hear is the beating of my heart that is getting slower and slower and slower. And I think, if I don't move, I might be able to stop my own life with my heartbeat stopping. You moved long ago. I stand on the other side of that door and I listen to you talk to my brother, telling him about how we planned to move together. This was not our plan. And we haven't been together for months and months, years even. I, it's I, all wasted away. Be quiet, brother, for once. Be quiet. God damn it, woman. We haven't touched, I haven't touched by a human being. I long for some sort of affection, some sort of embrace. You wonder why I don't call you my muse any longer? It's because there is nothing that fills me from you. You have turned away from me. I wouldn't even embrace my own brother for... Stop. For the longing Stop. I want for your touch, Stop. your touch. <laughs> don't you see what you do to me? I know, I upset the end. Why? Why don't you think I let you touch me? Because it has no end. Don't you see it has no end? You touch my hand, you touch my wrist, my arm, and it has no end. Make a baby with me. I can't. I don't like children. I... <laughs> Well, you were once a child, brother. No, he was always a grown-up. He was born with a briefcase in his hand. <laughs> my poems will never end. Neither will my love for you. So move. Move with this tourist. He never stops moving. If you never want to stop moving, join my brother. I don't even know what vocation he has. I don't even know what he does besides pop in and out of my life. Months at a time taking steamer ships. Loving the distance between his own kinship. Go, go with him. Let me stay here and be moved out by the rich just as my job has been taken from me because poets don't seem to matter anymore either. The world doesn't seem to need poetry. You and your fairy tales. They mean more to me than you. 
But you, yet you do not learn the lessons those fairy tales teach you. Don't I? I never go through the forest. I never speak to wolves. Don't you understand? The forest is where everything happens. If those people don't go into the forest, they... They what? They become nothing. I've been in the forest. It's quite lovely. I've been to many forests all over the world. And all I can say is that sometimes what's really important is where you started from, not where you ended. But that's just me, and maybe I should go. No, wait. You're right. Again, I see a deep connection between the two of you and your philosophies. You love the beginnings, and you love your happy endings. You've come back for this book, you say? Yes. Take it and go. This is the worst party I've ever been to. <laughs> and yet you've thrown it. Well, I'm terrible at it then. You make saying goodbye so easy, Vladimir. I wish that it made your heart break as mine is breaking right now. Heart broke. Months ago. Did you not read the final poem I read you? You were so sick of my poetry. Tell me now. Tell me now and I will stay. Tell her, brother. Please. Tell her the poem you told me. Read it. <laughs> do, do. I cannot make the title out. What does it say? Your handwriting is as bad as your charm. It's typed on the back. Uh. <laughs> My muse is a museum. <laughs> My muse is a museum full of old artifacts, full of cobwebs. She has gone from... <laughs> she has gone from my heart, my mind, and as I put pen to paper, she has gone from the ink I write. I will visit a museum again, but never with my muse again. You rhymed again with again, it's horrible. <laughs> Is that? No shit, I really mean it. Wow. I really mean it. I cannot find it again, but it wasn't yes. I would not lie. Okay. But I... I bid you adieu. Sometimes I think that all your sorrow stems from this music that you play all the time. Maybe if, maybe if you played something happy... I wish! Vladimir, <laughs> we used to have Peppy Tunes in our life. Do you remember? I had a child. What? I would name it Peppy Tunes. <laughs> you name the baby Peppy Tunes. Yeah, I hate children. <laughs> Goodbye. S but he wants to, he's talking about a child with you. I'm telling her to go. You are telling me everything and nothing. Oh God! <laughs> Why are you crying? Ah, my heart breaks, and then I hear a baby. It's all. I don't hear this. No, you. It's me. It's ah, not for you. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. So maybe that time of the. I wish. I wish there was something going on in here, but it is lonely. It was lonely for visitors. I wanted to visit it for months. I wish. A, I wish a tourist would come and visit me. Anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Which book to you get in there? You don't understand the language of my womb. Let me talk to it. Try. <laughs> you don't have the words. I am too drunk to talk to your vagina. <laughs> That's 
just too much. That's pretty drunk. That's pretty drunk. If you're too drunk to talk to a vagina, you're, you're loaded. Tell me, brother. What would you say? Stop calling me brother. In-law. Okay. Well, I think you should go for a small walk. And before you go to make that decision, allow us, allow us to win you back. Together, two brothers winning one muse back? <laughs> it's beautiful. It is beautiful that you would care, but of course, a team needs two people. One person is not a team. There is no one person in the word team. That makes no, no. sense. <laughs> There's but that's no okay. I in team. Yeah, it doesn't okay, matter. Okay, bye. <laughs> We're staying. Were you gonna kiss me? What? <laughs> No, I don't have my glasses. So. <laughs> okay. You gave me your cheek. I will give you all four cheeks. <laughs> I'm not deaf. <laughs> Look, brother, can you give us a moment? <laughs> See what's happening. Where shall I go? How shall I be? Who shall I be? Don't you see I am falling apart? I have no ending to my story. Let's take one second without saying anything. Okay. And meet back here in five seconds. <laughs> Nikolaevich, I'm gonna get this wrong. No, try it! <laughs> the Blubinant. It's like music to my ears when you say my name. Even if it's completely made up? Completely made up. I would change my name just to suit what you've just said. Say my name. Mikhail Baranovich Baranokovich the third. <laughs> wrong what we're doing. It's like incest. I'm going to go. I can't be the man who breaks the back of this relationship. Just be a man. That's all I am asking. I am a tourist. Be my tourist. I want to. <laughs> okay. I want to explore every nook and cranny. I want to take the tour. Please do not speak of my lady parts as nooks and crannies. <laughs> <laughs> they, are, they are not nooks and crannies. They are fields of beautiful flowers. I want to go in there and write my own text. No graffiti! No graffiti in my... Please! I, I want it to be mine! Bikini. Don't you understand? I would like a beautiful... tourist... venture. I've been everywhere in the world, okay? I've seen how people live uh, in America. And I've seen how people live in Europe. And, and, and it's all the same. You, you aren't who you are until you are with the one you want to be with. Say that again. You aren't with the who you are yes. if you're not with the one you want to be with. It's beautiful. <laughs> I, have I have to go. Don't go. Don't hold me here. Okay, don't go. Please. Please, he's drunk. He's drunk and I must go. No. Oh, <laughs> oh my friends. My brother, my, my love. I have solved all of our problems. In the bathroom! What? <laughs> you went to the toilet? Yes. Yes, and I discovered the, the best solution there. I know what to do now. Give us the answer. First of all, 
I give this back to you. Here, you, you give it to her, or, or you give it to him. Why do you look so happy? You share this ring, and remember me by it, for I'm going to tour, yeah? I'm going on a, on a holiday <laughs> with the help of the poison that was in the bathroom. What? Vladimir, yes. why do you keep poison in the bathroom? Vladimir! <laughs> the Russian poison in the bathroom! Vladimir, what did you Where do? Where would you keep it? I guess in the medicine cabinet. What did you do? You are foolish, a foolish man! And I'm going to go where you've never been. <laughs> I'm finally going to out tour you. Oh, yes? Yes? No! Oh, yes. Vladimir! I'm going to meet. I'm going to meet the Almighty. The greatest poet of all. No! And I will read my poems to him. Or perhaps I'll go to hell. Vladimir! Perhaps I'll go to hell for not loving you. I don't care. in my brain, and my brain can talk to my mouth and tell it how beautiful you are. Huh. I would have given you so much. I'm wealthy. I would have gentrified your womb into a, a larger womb. I would have extended the womb. And we would have gotten a bigger room. A room in my womb. So romantic. Down. Let me get you some water. No! <laughs> Sorry, I'm not a doctor. Nobody drinks <laughs> vodka that way. Sorry, I'm just trying to... Sweetheart, I love you. It's so late. It's quite early. But do you hear the... The baby is calling me. Is it? My heart has broken so many times that there is a chorus of babies saying, come to me. Your train is breaking down. Yes. My train is breaking down. Let it. It's rush hour in my heart, and the train is so slow. 
let it break down and go for the walk towards the light. You know, they speak of Moscow being so cold and Russia being so frigid and yet it is warm. My heart is warm right now. I wish you would have seen Plinkst. 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 Yes. <laughs> what would I eat there? Blitz. <laughs> I am dying with the love of two men in my heart. <clears throat> one man that would kill himself for me, and one man that would take a tour of my body. <clears throat> what more could a woman want? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Nina. Nina. the love of your life, but forever now I know that wherever you are, I shall not visit for a long time, and while I'm here, I shall be known as the back-breaking tourist, wherever I go, I will break hearts, and I shall never know happiness again. 